Today, I'm going to show you the best export settings to use to export your videos for Instagram stories using Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Hello, I'm Charles. If you're into Photoshop, Lightroom, photography, or video editing, please consider subscribing and click that bell notification so that you're notified when we release brand new content every single week. So welcome to Adobe Premiere Pro. First thing we need to do is create a sequence that is the same resolution and frame rate required for Instagram stories. I've already imported a clip here in my project browser and now I want to create a sequence. So to create a new sequence, it's control or command N and I want to start with a preset here. It's called DLSR 1080p 30. So this is just a starting point. I'm going to come over here to settings. I'm going to keep the same frame rate and I'm going to change the frame size. I'm going to change the horizontal to 1080 and vertical to 1920. And we're keeping the square pixels 1.0, display format 29.97. Everything can stay the same. And for the next time that I want to create a vertical video for Instagram stories, I can save this as a preset. So I'm going to click on say preset and give it a name. I'm going to call it IG stories, vertical 1080 by 1920, 29.97 FPS. Say, okay. I'm going to give the sequence a name, Instagram stories. Say OK. So now under custom, I have that preset right here and I can come back to it next time I want to create a vertical video for Instagram stories. Now I'm going to drag my clip onto the timeline and I get this clip mismatch warning and I want to keep the existing settings because I want the timeline to dictate my settings, not the clip. So now I have my clip and my timeline. So now you can see that this clip was shot with the camera at, in a horizontal position. You can see the black bars at the top and the bottom. Now you can use it like this for Instagram stories and you can put text at the top and bottom areas of this or you can scale it up. Keep in mind that you can also come up here to the effects controls and change the rotation to 90 and export it like that but then you know somebody has to get their phone and turn it sideways and I think most people would rather see their their videos like this but you can do it that way I'm going to actually reposition this a little bit so that whole frame is filled up by the video so come up here to scale and just bring it up like that you can use the X position to move it around something like that play a little bit of it see if you like it. So now Instagram stories are 15 seconds. If I upload this clip here, this clip here is a minute and four seconds. If I were to upload it, Instagram stories would chop it up into 15 second clips. I'm going to put the playhead at the beginning with my arrow up key and I'm just going to bring my clip say around 15 seconds, 1429. I'm going to hit W to cut off the end part of the clip. So right now it is exactly 15 seconds. Now I'm going to mark my in point and out point. I'm going to hit my up arrow to put the playhead at the beginning of the clip. I for my in point. Down arrow to put the playhead at the end of the clip. Hit O for my out point. And now to export my video for Instagram stories. Command or control M. And here is my export settings dialog. So now let's export our video to the settings here at the top. Make sure your format is H.264 preset. We're going to choose match source high bitrate. You want to name your file something and select an area where you want it to be downloaded to or saved to. Make sure export video and export audio is selected. On the video tab, click match source and render maximum depth. When you match, when you click match source, that just makes sure that this width and height and all the other settings are the same as our video that we created. And down here at bitrate settings, choose BBR2 pass. And we're going to leave the target bitrate and maximum bitrate the same. Click on use maximum render quality. Also for the audio, you can keep all these settings here. And of course you want to save these 
settings as a preset, click on this save preset and give it a name, Instagram stories and say okay. Now you're ready to use that preset the next time you're going to export an Instagram story and just click export. Now the next thing is you want to get your video to your phone. If you have an iPhone you can use AirDrop. If you have an Android you can use something like Dropbox. So now that I have my video exported I can go to where my video is on my file system and I could airdrop it to my phone. Here it is on my phone. Now I can go to Instagram and select my story and whatever I want to do if I want to add anything. I can add all these things for Instagram stories location and there I can post it to Instagram stories. So if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you want more videos like this see the ones above and remember it's never too late to learn. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.